Hi, Ted Nelkin for HLTNT Sports and www.hltt.com. We are a family business located at 9718A Hillcroft, just off the corner of South Braidswood and six miles west of the world famous Astrodome. HLTNT Sports and www.hltt.com are the place you need to be for what's new and exciting in the world of sports memorabilia. With that in mind, Take a look at the headlines right now. One. In our headlines, the Pittsburgh Steelers are out of the NFL playoffs, and there will be a new champion crowned. What does that mean for you? It means that you'll need to know about maybe a superstar running back, a wide receiver, or everybody's glamour position, the quarterback. Keep an eye watch the playoffs and Super Bowl, and then... Check HLTT.com for all of the latest in memorabilia on these players and teams, as well as new stuff coming out like champion pennants, buttons, bumper stickers, pins, and more. That's what we're all about. History's all around you. Don't miss it. That's our headline item. What's new in collecting and what the collectors are asking about? And they're asking about the 2006 Tops updates and highlights. This is the set that came out just before Thanksgiving. It has all of the highlights, so you Cardinal fans will be interested. It has cards of the award winners, so you Twins fans will be interested, and you Philly fans will be interested. And it has also all of the rookies that came up during the season, so that means every baseball fan is hot after the 2006 Tops updates and highlights. It has insert cards, home run cards by Barry Bonds and Mickey Mantle, and I've left out the best part. Yes, there are autograph cards available in the 2006 Topps Updates and Highlights set. The card that we're focusing on this issue is the 2006 Topps Football Vince Young Rookie Card. It's card number 353, and the former Longhorn and Madison Marlins star has been the card since he came out of the pack, and momentum has not left Vince Young. You will want to add this card to your collection as soon as you can. Now we've reached a portion of our video update that we call Thinking of and Thanks To. It's my favorite because we take history and we bring it to the present, such as it was 95 years ago when Charles Evans purchased 4.5 acres in what they call Pigtown for a concrete stadium for his Brooklyn Dodgers to play in. You know, there's not too much left from the old Brooklyn Dodgers, but there is Tom Lasorda. Tommy says he's got a weight problem. He can't wait for the season to start. Neither can I. Tommy, we live Celebrate for this too. Celebrate the coming of Super Bowl 41. We think about Super Bowl 21. It was Phil Simms with his coach, Bill Parcells, and the New York football giants defeating the Denver Broncos and John Elway in an exciting Super Bowl game. 20 years 25 ago. 25 years ago this week that the San Diego Chargers defeated the Miami Dolphins in what some consider the greatest playoff game of our time. The Dolphins trailed 24 to nothing before rallying to send the game to overtime where Ralph Benerski's kick sent the San Diego Chargers to the AFC Championship game. That was 25 years ago this week. Well, that's it. We hope we entertained you, and we hope you've learned something, and most importantly, we hope you'll dial up www.hltt.com. My name is Ted Nelkin for HLTNT Sports, and our website again, www.hltt.com. Thanks, and we'll see you again.